Welcome to The Fumble, I'm Crystal Marie. The Clippers are keeping things in the family, re-signing guard Austin Rivers to a two-year deal worth $6.4 million. Rivers, the 22-year-old son of GM coach Doc Rivers, had himself a strong postseason, legitimately helping the Clippers win their first round series against the Spurs. So it's a good move by the Clippers to have father and son back together again. I caught up with Austin at the body at Espy's party and asked what the pros and cons were to playing for his dad. Here's what he had to say. Uh, the worst would probably just because it's a family issue. Anything that happens between you and him, you have to deal with your mom and then your brother is going to come and it, things get exaggerated bigger than what it's supposed to be. Something so small could be taken so big um, when it's not supposed to be that way. The best thing is you, you know your coach has your back um, and that gives you confidence. He didn't give me confidence. I got it just knowing that, listen, my coach isn't going to you know, F around me, quite frankly. You know what I mean? It's the guy who wants the best for me. and. And I think that's why players like playing for him, because he kind of gives that feel to every player, and I kind of realized that playing for him, so I'm excited. He says to expect big things from him this upcoming season. I'm going in this season so confident. I feel like this is the best I've ever been in my life. I've worked the hardest, and people are going to be very surprised next season. Uh, you expect big things from you next season. Uh, absolutely, and uh, more importantly, even for the team, we got a he heck of a team coming back. Rivers also revealed why he chose to only sign a short-term deal with the Clippers. I wanted to bet on myself. I want to take a chance and bet on myself. And uh, I think it makes sense, most importantly, basketball-wise and financially in the future with the cap and everything going up, uh, that would take care of itself. But I want to sign a sort of deal because I, I, I want to leave on a better note here, or not leave, start a new uh, note here with the Clippers and, uh, you know, try to win here. As for the DeAndre Jordan fiasco, Rivers says he wasn't in Texas when Clippers players and officials converged on Jordan's Houston residence the night before the moratorium expired. We got DeAndre back. We, we definitely got DJ back. That was a, a... Did you help hold him hostage till he re-signed? No. Were you not a part of it? I wasn't part of anything. Don't don't put me on it. Yeah. Did you know they were all going to kind of convince him? Yeah, obviously I was part of the process. Um, but uh, yeah, that was... Uh, listen, it was a good situation. I, people can take it however we want it. We got him back. You know what I mean? It, um, as a competitive business, we weren't just going to let him go, and we didn't, and we got him back, and then we signed three other, four other players who were going to help us as well. So we got a good team back, uh, better than last season, so we're excited. Rivers returns to the Clippers after appearing in 41 regular season games with the team last season, averaging 7.1 points, 2 rebounds, and 1.7 assists. For more exclusive interviews with your favorite athletes, visit us at thefumble.com. To see Blake Griffin's hilarious Austin Rivers impression, click here. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to The Fumble for more exclusive interviews with all your favorite athletes.